Exploration, Wikipedia Audio Exploration is the act of searching for the purpose of discovery of information or resources. Exploration occurs in all non-sessil animal species, including humans. In human history, its most dramatic rise was during the Age of Discovery when European explorers sailed and charted much of the rest of the world for a variety of reasons. Since then, major explorations after the Age of Discovery have occurred for reasons mostly aimed at information discovery. In scientific research, exploration is one of three purposes of empirical research. The term is often used metaphorically. For example, an individual may speak of exploring the Internet, sexuality, etc. The Phoenicians traded throughout the Mediterranean Sea and Asia Minor though many of their routes are still unknown today. The presence of tin in some Phoenician artifacts suggests that they may have traveled to Britain. According to Virgil's Aeneid and other ancient sources, the legendary Queen Dido was a Phoenician from Tyre who sailed to North Africa and founded the city of Carthage. Notable Periods of Human Exploration Hanno the Navigator, a Carthaginian navigator explored the western coast of Africa. The Greek explorer from Marseille, Pythias was the first to circumnavigate Great Britain, explore Germany, and reach Thule. Through the western Sahara, toward the Niger River and actual Timbuktu, through the Tibesti Mountains, toward Lake Chad and actual Nigeria, through the Nile River, toward actual Uganda, though the western coast of Africa, toward the Canary Islands and the Cape Verde Islands, through the Red Sea, toward actual Somalia and perhaps Tanzania. The Romans organized expeditions to cross the Sahara Desert with five different routes. All these expeditions were supported by legionaries and had mainly a commercial purpose. Only the one done by Emperor Nero seemed to be a preparative for the conquest of Ethiopia or Nubia. In 62 AD two legionaries explored the sources of the Nile River. One of the main reasons of the explorations was to get gold using the camel to transport it. The explorations near the African western and eastern coasts were supported by Roman ships and deeply related to the naval commerce. Romans organized several explorations also in northern Europe, and as far as Asia up to China. During the 2nd century BC, the Han dynasty explored much of the eastern northern hemisphere. Starting in 139 BC, the Han diplomat Zhang Qian traveled west in an unsuccessful attempt to secure an alliance with the Daezi against the Xiongnu, however, Zhang's travels discovered entire countries which the Chinese were unaware of, including the remnants of the conquests of Alexander the Great. When Zhang returned to China in 125 BC, he reported on his visits to Daewon, Kangzhou, and Daxia. Zhang described Daewon and Daxia as agricultural and urban countries like China and although he did not venture there, described Chengdu and Angzi further west. From about 800 AD to 1040 AD, the Vikings explored Europe and much of the western northern hemisphere via rivers and oceans. For example, it is known that the Norwegian Viking explorer, Eric the Red, sailed to and settled in Greenland after being expelled from Iceland, while his son, the Icelandic explorer Leif Erikson reached Newfoundland and the nearby North American coast, and is believed to be the first European to land in North America. Polynesians were a maritime people, who populated and explored the Central and South Pacific for around 5,000 years, up to about 1,280 when they discovered New Zealand. The key invention to their exploration was the outrigger canoe, 
which provided a swift and stable platform for carrying goods and people. Based on limited evidence, it is thought that the voyage to New Zealand was deliberate. It is unknown if one or more boats went to New Zealand, or the type of boat, or the names of those who migrated. 2011 studies at Wairau Bar in New Zealand show a high probability that one origin was Ruahine Island in the Society Islands. Polynesians may have used the prevailing northeasterly trade winds to reach New Zealand in about three weeks. The Cook Islands are in direct line along the migration path and may have been an intermediate stopping point. There are cultural and language similarities between Cook Islanders and New Zealand Maori. Early Maori had different legends of their origins, but the stories were misunderstood and reinterpreted in confused written accounts by early European historians in New Zealand trying to present a coherent pattern of Maori settlement in New Zealand. Phoenician Galley Sailings Mathematical modeling based on DNA genome studies, using state-of-the-art techniques, have shown that a large number of Polynesian migrants, including women, arrived in New Zealand around the same time, in about 1280. Otago University studies have tried to link distinctive DNA teeth patterns, which show special dietary influence with places in or nearby the Society Islands. The Chinese explorer, Wang Daewan made two major trips by ship to the Indian Ocean. During 1328-1333, he sailed along the South China Sea and visited many places in Southeast Asia and reached as far as South Asia, landing in Sri Lanka and India. Then in 1334-1339, he visited North Africa and East Africa. Later, the Chinese Admiral Zheng He made seven voyages to Arabia, East Africa, India, Indonesia, and Thailand. The Age of Discovery, also known as the Age of Exploration, is one of the most important periods of geographical exploration in human history. It started in the early 15th century and lasted until the 17th century. In that period, Europeans discovered and slash or explored vast areas of the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Portugal and Spain dominated the first stages of exploration, while other European nations followed, such as England, Netherlands, and France. The most important explorers of this period include, Diogo Cao who discovered and ascended the Congo River and reached the coasts of the present-day Angola and Namibia, Bartolomeu Dias, who was the first European to reach the Cape of Good Hope and other parts of the South African coast, Christopher Columbus, who led a Castilian expedition across the Atlantic, discovering America, Vasco da Gama a navigator who made the first trip from Europe to India and back by the Cape of Good Hope, discovering the ocean route to the east, Pedro Alvarez Cabral who, following the path of Gama, claimed Brazil and led the first expedition that linked Europe, Africa, America, and Asia, Diogo Dias who discovered the eastern coast of Madagascar and rounded the corner of Africa. Explorers such as Diogo Fernandez Pereira and Pedro Mascarenas, among others, who discovered and mapped the Mascarene Islands and other archipelagos, Antonio de Abro and Francisco Serreo, who led the first direct European fleet into the Pacific Ocean. Through the Sunda Islands, reaching the Moluccas, Juan Ponce de Leon, who discovered and mapped the coast of Florida, Vasco Núñez de Balboa, who was the first European to view the Pacific Ocean from American shores confirming that America was a separate continent from Asia, Ferdinand Magellan, who was the first navigator to cross the Pacific Ocean, discovering the Strait of Magellan, the Tuamotus, and Mariana Islands, 
achieving a nearly complete circumnavigation of the Earth, in multiple voyages. For the first time, Juan Sebastian Elcano, who completed the first global circumnavigation, Alexo Garcia, who explored the territories of present-day southern Brazil, Paraguay and Bolivia, crossing the Chaco and reaching the Andes, Jorge de Menezes, who discovered Papua New Guinea, Garcia Jofre de Loisa, who discovered the Marshall Islands, Alvar Núñez Cabeza de Vaca, who discovered the Mississippi River and was the first European to sail the Gulf of Mexico and cross Texas, Jacques Cartier, who drew the first maps of part of Central and Maritime Canada, Andres de Urdaneta, who discovered the maritime route from Asia to the Americas, Francisco Vesquez de Coronado, who discovered the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River, Francisco de Orellana, who was the first European to navigate the length of the Amazon River. Continuing in the second half of the 16th century and the 17th century with explorers such as Andres de Urdaneta, who discovered the maritime route from Asia to the Americas, Alvaro de Mendana, who discovered the Tuvalu Archipelago, the Marquesas, the Solomon Islands and Wake Island, Willem Jans Zoan, who made the first recorded European landing in Australia, Pedro Fernandez de Quiroz, who discovered the Pitcairn Islands and the Vanuatu Archipelago, Inigo Ortiz de Rites, who discovered and reached Eastern and Northern New Guinea, Luis Vise de Torres, who discovered the Torres Strait between Australia and New Guinea, Henry Hudson, who explored the Hudson Bay in Canada, Samuel de Champlain, who explored St. Lawrence River and the Great Lakes, Abel Tasman, who explored North Australia, discovered Tasmania and New Zealand, and René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle, who explored the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada, and the entire length of the Mississippi River. Long after the Golden Age of Discovery, other explorers completed the world map, such as various Russian explorers, reaching the Siberian Pacific coast and the Bering Strait, at the extreme edge of Asia and Alaska, Vitus Bering who in the service of the Russian Navy, explored the Bering Strait, the Bering Sea, the North American coast of Alaska, and some other northern areas of the Pacific Ocean, and James Cook, who explored the east coast of Australia, the Hawaiian Islands, and circumnavigated the Antarctic continent. Humanity is continuing to follow the impulse to explore, moving beyond Earth. Space exploration started in the 20th century with the invention of exoatmospheric rockets. This has given humans the opportunity to travel to the Moon, and to send robotic explorers to other planets and far beyond. Carthaginian Exploration of Western Africa Greek Exploration of Northern Europe and Thule Both of the Voyager probes have left the solar system, bearing imprinted gold disks with multiple data types. Roman Explorations Chinese Exploration of Central Asia Viking Age Polynesian Age Chinese Exploration of the Indian Ocean A recent scientific study, performed on mobile phone data of an entire European country and on GPS tracks of private vehicles in Italy, demonstrated that even today individuals naturally split into two well-defined categories according to their mobility habits, returners and explorers. According to this research published on Nature Communications, Today's explorers have a tendency to wander between a large number of different locations showing a star-like mobility pattern, they have a central core of locations around which distant core of locations gravitates. Interestingly, two features characterize today's explorers, 
one they are more likely to spread infectious diseases when traveling, due to their mobility patterns, two they tend to communicate preferably with other explorers, i.e. they show a communication homophily with people in the same mobility category. Humans have developed specialized tools and strategies to explore specific areas of the Earth, including the Arctic, caves, deserts, oceans, urban environments, as well as the Moon. With robotic machines, humans have also explored many parts of the heliosphere, and through measurements, beyond the solar system and the Milky Way as part of an ongoing global space exploration initiative. European Age of Discovery Space Exploration Returners and Today's Explorers Terrains and Places Explored by Humans Notes Works Cited